right, this lesson is going to teach you how to do cell protection, freeze panes, and data sorting. Okay, uh, they're all pretty easy, so I've put them all together in this one lesson. All right, so open it up under L8 uh, in the S drive, um, and you should find the, a modified fully sick computer's payroll, which is what I got here. Okay, um, and now let's get started. So you've made your formulas from last time, um, and you don't want some noob who doesn't know how to use Excel to wreck um, your formulas. So what you do is you lock them so that no one else uh, can modify it later on if you were to give this spreadsheet to somebody else. Okay, so uh, the way this works is kind of backwards. You actually specify the cells you want your user to be able to edit um, because everything is locked by default in Excel. Okay, so in this case, here are our formulas, all the light green ones here, all the way down to here. These are all formulas and including these averages here, they're all formulas. We don't want anyone changing that, but we want them to be able to change this stuff just in case, you know, they need to. Okay, so uh, what you need to do to uh, enable cell protection is highlight the stuff you want them to be able to edit. So in this case, all these numbers um, and these two here as well, the sales bonus and the damage tax um, and holding control. Highlight their names as well, why not? Maybe we got those wrong too. Okay, so we want them to be able to edit this stuff, but we don't want them changing any of our titles and we don't want them changing our formulas. Once that's highlighted, right click and go format cells. You should be able to see that. Okay, and I'll just drag that up so you can see. Go to protection um, and notice it's locked. That's how everything is by default. Uncheck that and press OK. Okay, now if you were to go up to the view, uh, sorry, the review, you'll notice that there is protect sheet, protect workbook. Click protect sheet and it prompts you with this dialog box. Um, it wants you to put in a password, but you don't have to and I recommend not doing it for the tutorial so you don't forget the password. Uh, and then press OK. Okay, now try and modify one of these cells. You get the error message saying nothing, but if I was to change this, no problem. Okay, so that's how cell protection works. Next, I'm gonna show you freeze panes. Now, you'll notice that the data requires you to scroll. Okay, now once we get down here and we look up and go, oh, what was this number one here? Okay, we've got a problem, we have to scroll back up and I have to look, oh, it was number of games sold. To solve that problem, we use freeze panes, which will um, effectively make this stuff, all our titles, stay where they are, even if we scroll. Okay, and it's really, really easy. Um, firstly, let's unprotect our sheet from before. Um, and then all you're gonna do is highlight this column here, the very top one here, so Bob Asus, and then you're gonna go to view and go to freeze panes. And then you just go with freeze panes, the top option here. Okay. And you'll notice it's worked because you get this gray line going along the top. So it'll always um, freeze the pane directly above what you've selected. So I've chosen this, so it'll freeze everything up here. And you'll see it as we scroll. You'll notice that they stay where they are and everything scrolls underneath it. Okay. So we can always see our headings the whole time. Okay. Um, and then all you got to do is just unfreeze it if you don't want it um, and it'll disappear. Okay, likewise you can freeze pane going this way as well um, but obviously in this case it's not very useful uh, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. Just click on uh, just say we want the names to stay. Go to freeze panes again and then hit that and it's frozen everything here and if I was to shrink my window slightly or just do that you can see that everything's moving but the names aren't. Okay, so that's freeze panes. It's quite simple. And finally, I'm going to show you how to sort your data. So um, in this case, we've got heaps of workers and it's hard to see uh, where everyone is. It's not sorted alphabetically or anything like that. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to data and you can see the sort function right here. So let's highlight all of our data that we want to sort, which is everything here. So all of our employees and all their stats. Um, and now we're going to sort it with the sort option. Click that and it comes up with this dialog box and we can choose how we want to sort it. So we're going to sort based on our last name to start with. So we're going to make it all last name sorting. Um, order A to Z, so A at the top, Z at the bottom. And then just press OK. And there we go, everything sorts and all the numbers change as well. And you can see it all sorted alphabetically there. Okay, maybe we want to sort it uh, based on something else. So let's go sort again. Uh, this time we're going to sort it based on the number of games sold. So we can see who's the best game seller. There it is, number of games sold. 
smallest to largest, but in this case, we'll go largest to smallest. So the best ones are on the top. Press OK. And there we go. Uh, these guys are all got the highest number of games sold. Okay, so that's how you sort. Uh, it's also pretty easy as well. All right, uh, that, is, that concludes uh, these Excel tutorials. I hope you've learned lots and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you.